Hey. Amy Bream doesn't take very many days off. Hey. Whether it's in the ring, hey. on the treadmill, or in the water. The Nike-sponsored athlete is always busy training. And right now, she's getting ready for her third consecutive CrossFit Games. One more big push! The goal is to go back and do better than last year. Strength, competitiveness, discipline. All things you can see right away. But one thing you may not see at first is her resilience. I was born with a congenital condition I'm called PFFD. It stands for proximal femoral focal deficiency. Essentially, it means you're missing some, high, um, you know, some extent of your femur bone. And for me, I'm missing the majority of my right leg, um, and my hip isn't my right hip isn't fully developed. PFFD is rare. It happens to roughly one in every 200,000 kids. But since Amy didn't need an amputation, she's never known any different. As odd as it is to say blessed in the fact that I didn't have an amputation because I've never known life with two legs. So it's like, when I need to take a step, I'm either gonna hop or I'm gonna put a leg on or use crutches, and that's just how it is. Amy describes her childhood as pretty normal considering her circumstances, but when it came to sports, that was a different story. I remember, you know, being, you know, playing tag with my friends at recess and realizing that I got tagged a lot because I was slower. Um, but yeah, I did not enjoy gym class. I was really self-conscious um, in that, especially the older that I got. Growing up in a small town in Pennsylvania, Amy didn't see amputees every day. She assumed what her parameters were and didn't want to push them. I allowed it to an extent to make me feel like a victim sometimes of like, well, I, of course I wouldn't do sports because I wouldn't be good at it. Amy decided she needed a change. <laughs> and guided by her love for music, you can never she moved to Nashville in 2014, the first of many steps in pushing those parameters. Her next step? <laughs> joining Title Boxing Gym. So it was all very, very new. And of course, I didn't start it with any specific goal in mind other than I don't like my lack of confidence and I want to change that. That change started with a new prosthesis and shedding an old layer. Growing up, I had always gotten a um, foam cover over top of it to try to hide and blend it in as much as possible. And I um, decided to get a new prosthesis. It was time to get that made here. So it was just one of those like, Let's just go for it. Like, tell me what I need to do to be active. And they're like, we'll take the foam cover off, which was like a whole layer of like, you know, it, that was very, a big moment for me of like, oh, I'm not trying to hide this anymore. Testing her limitations, Amy was even open to a different kind of fitness her coach suggested. 9.36 into this 11 minute time cap. CrossFit. The 2021 CrossFit Games were the first to include an adaptive division. And despite having just been introduced to the CrossFit world, she decided to go for it. For six months, Amy trained nonstop with her coach, Scooter Houston. His main focus was getting me to believe that I was good enough and um, that I belonged there and that I could call myself an athlete because it's taken me quite a bit of time for me to be willing to call myself athletic. What did you learn about yourself? Just believing that I could do it. Um, and yeah, like kind of embracing that. Gives it a little motivation there from the crowd. In her first ever CrossFit Games, Amy placed fifth in the adaptive division. The next year, she placed third. Following her success in the games, Amy started to gain a larger following on her Instagram account, One Leg to Stand On. She didn't have any goal in mind when she first started it, but now she has over 260,000 followers. She hopes that when people see and hear her story, they become more aware of those with a prosthesis and also understand that only you can define your limits. I never want to be something on Instagram or any platform that like a middle school girl would look at me and say, that's great, I could never be like her. <laughs> Despite her growing resilience, Amy says it's still a never-ending journey to make sure her leg doesn't define her. It's a daily struggle just to make decisions that are intentional and not driven solely by her leg.
I always tell like if I meet younger girls especially that have a similar adaptation to mine or really anything that they struggle with, don't let the physical limitation define what you do. Driven by her love to compete, she did it, and her desire to inspire others. Amy knows that whatever is thrown her way in life, she will adapt. If I can't do it at first, there is a way to figure it out. So let's just keep going. Hey, hey. All she needs to do is take it one step at a time.